as a pledge for a flag and an anthem for our country too. But what we all need is a universe of prayer for one love for me and you. Why do we wait for tragedy to unite us? Then we march, take a stand, and cry out for peace to guide us. Why don't we all let love bind us? And then we will all live the way we were meant to be. When did we become a world of only myself, I, and me? Loving our treasures more than allowing man to be free. How did we become so blind? We can't see that together we can all live in peace and harmony. We behave as if we are better than another, as if race, religion, and status makes one grand. But we all have the same plight amongst us. Earth and death are what unites us. We need one song, one prayer, one voice, one love. We need love. Good afternoon to you. Wanda Denise Coates is with us again here on the First Lady Show. Welcome, Wanda. Thank you, Valerie. Hello, beautiful, and hello, beautiful ladies. Thank you for having me today. I am so excited, Valerie, and I'm just glad to be a part for the opportunity to be on your show to do this great, amazing thing that the Heavenly Father has blessed me to do. Wanda Denise Coates, your mayor, city of Pontiac, and this is Mr. Clifford Wallace III. Hello, Cliff. How are you? How Good, are Good you? to see you. It's a pleasure to see you, yes, Wanda. Yes, yes. And I just have nothing but great things to say about Wanda. We start working together with our nonprofits for the Pontiac Academy of Excellence, and we help re-establish the arts department in that particular school. So after one year, we were able to build the music department and other aspects of their art department, which didn't exist at the time. And uh, since then, I've worked with Wanda in other aspects of uh, community service, and she's an amazing person. You have the right mayor, whether you're white, Hispanic, or black. She is well in tune with all of the different ethnicities. Uh, she is the perfect person to have for mayor because she has a heart for the people. We gotta do better, City of Pontiac. We are human beings, and we're yeah we're spiritual beings for sure. If you believe having a human experience, but once again, in order for any person to govern a city, you got to have the human beings, correct? And we got to make sure that we're governing correctly with all the legislation, with all the proposals, and all the charter keys and everything. We understand that, and what we don't know, we hire a team to help us out. I got the chips, and how you feeling? Okay, and I got some tips and all kinds of stuff for you, okay? Marie, we're gonna help you get situated, okay? So Marie, we love you and we want the best for you and whatever you need. We help the people. We cannot argue over paperwork and policy and procedures. I've never voted before, but I will vote for her. Wendell Becker, I'm a gospel musician from Detroit. I've been in Pontiac, I've been homeless for a year and a half. I just got my place and with the help of Miss Coates. Yeah. She helped me during my transition and me being homeless. And, you know, I just really want to give back, you know what I'm saying? Because I really have a heart for the homeless in South Michigan. I didn't think it was bad if it is be out here home with us. Uh, my family uh, at La Casa is in Spanish. I have family, uh, which is Cato La Familia. Te amo mucho. Now we want to build three bedrooms, three baths, living room, dining room, family room, and we bring in unity in the community. So yes, I'm part of community development, and that's something that I've been doing all my life. So you're doing it, and you're going to bring it to the next level. Remember, I also told you with the grants, we can get grants. Really quickly, what is some of the um, community development you'd like to see in Pontiac, and then I'll let you go. <laughs> for sure. I would love to see some more for the youth. Um, I feel like the youth are the foundation and they're the futures. We're going to make sure that we have uh, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math for the children. We want to make sure that we have 3D design and workforce development. The Phoenix Center is absolutely beautiful. I was up there a couple weeks ago. Absolutely beautiful. 
Mexico. We could have all types of vineyards. We could have um, basically concerts. I mean, we should have something at the Phoenix Center seven days a week. Seriously. What was it? Uh the art, art, art speaks and eats yes. needs to come back because we yes. we went to it one time in Royal Oak. It's too small. I, it is. It, I, it, we moved to Pontiac right after art speaks and eats left. Wow. Nice, like These right here was once apartments. Look at all the units here on both sides. At least maybe 50 people could live here. And here it is right here, another. So our homeless people, that's a hundred, they can actually live here in this, this little area. This little area alone could solve our homeless problem. So Julie, what's your name again? Max. Max, okay. How long have you been out here in the city of Pontiac? Uh, about five, six months. Where you well, I got hit by a car four years ago. Tell me that. Tell me what happened. You got hit by a car. Tell me. My friends, my sister's friends. You got car? Oh. That was a car accident. Yeah, that was a car. And so let me just say uh, what he told me, um, audience. He had got hit by a car and he had a guardian. And guess what? He said he got um, uh, approved for a multi million dollar lawsuit. Let's see what's happening here. Make sure they're safe. What Wanda proposes is all about the people of Pontiac, which it should be. I believe that it should be people in the city of Pontiac that already own land that live here that we will provide the opportunity to provide the facility and to help facilitate what we're doing. So what Wanda proposes is all about the people of Pontiac. Yay, for the city of Pontiac. We just got to rebuild, restore, renew this city. And you know what? My campaign has been A plus, Valerie. If you Amen. look at the, all the flyers, that even the first one when I took a picture over there at that park with that winter coat on in yeah. uh, Pontiac. And then the second one, you know, that beautiful pink. And now we just got our bold uh, black and, um, and yellow and that little red heart, you know, it's just been a beautiful campaign. It's been no chaos, you know, the website, um, you know, the presentation to the people. Um, we don't have any uh, corruption. Come on. We don't have any <laughs> nepotism. Come on now. We don't Amen. have any favoritism. Hallelujah. Even Amen. the great news. <laughs> um, they're uh, featuring an article today, and that's what we stated. So we want to have fairness, diversity, transparency, integrity. That's yeah. the type of campaign we have ran in Jesus' name. We have mm -hmm. to bring unity into the community. It sounds like a cliche, but that's what we need. Let's rise up together. I have my information here. We're rising up together. We're coming um, together. We are coming one nation. I say under the heavenly father, because that's what we need. we got to mm -hmm. put them back into the political. Like I said, I am not a politician. I am a people petition. It's time to <laughs> petition the people because the people mm -hmm. vote. And Pontiac, right now, I need your help. I need your vote. You simply write my name, like Beyonce used to say, say my name, say my name, write my name in. Because this time, it is right in, right on time. And Amen. there's 49,000 people in the city of Pontiac that's already registered to vote. I need your support. I need your vote because we got to come together. Once again, the veterans and the seniors, we got to come together with the workforce development, education, housing, training, and also the $37 million that we got in infrastructure. I have a group, a profession. I have a dream team. That's what the Heavenly Father said. Tell them you got a team, like a dream, a dream team, like Dr. Martin Luther King said. We have a dream team of people that have over 30 years to 40, 50 years of experience. Together, we have 100 years of experience with our education, with workforce development, with education, again, 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 and training. Yes. You know, I have Scott over in Lansing. He not only is in Lansing, but he live in Lansing. He could get all the funding we need from Lansing because mm -hmm. we got to yeah. have that relationship with the county and with Lansing. I'm also a federal grant writer. We are, I'm already online doing webinars with Washington, D.C. I met with one yeah. of the uh, head city council gentlemen. He knows every single thing in the city. We're going to come together 
and his name is Mr. Randy Carter. And he was like, look, let's just make things work. His wife is Brenda Carter. Wanda Denise Coates, running for mayor of the city of Pontiac. God bless. There's a pledge for a flag and an anthem for our country too. But what we all need is a universe of prayer for one love for me and you. Why do we wait for tragedy to unite us? Then we march, take a stand, and cry out for peace to guide us. Why don't we all let love bind us? And then we will all live the way we were meant to be. When did we become a world of only myself, I, and me? Loving our treasures more than allowing man to be free. How did we become so blind? We can't see that together we can all live in peace and harmony. We behave as if we are better than another, as if race, religion, and status makes one grand. But we all have the same plight amongst us. Birth and death are what unites us. We need one song, one prayer, one voice, one love. We need love. <laughs>